What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Blurry Face, who's bringing a Naganadel. This is the Mono Poison team. This team is going to be really, really brutal to go against because number one, the only Psychic type we have is Slow King, and we only got two Psychic attacks in addition to that with Lycanroc. And um, Ground types or Ground attacks, we only have Pikachu. Yeah, we're gonna have a really, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time with this. Um, I'm excited to see the matchup against Charizard and Venusaur. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we're both running Drapion, which is really cool. You don't see that every day. Um, potential starts. Um, maybe Crobat. The only problem is I don't know if it's a physical or a special Crobat. We're going to start Ferrothorn. I think that's a good start, right? No. No. Well... We're gonna start Lycanroc because we got the Psychic Fangs. We got the ground type attacks with Lycanroc. So depending on what he goes into, we're gonna go with that. I just hope he doesn't start with Naganadel. Because if he starts with Naganadel, that's that's his win con. I don't got a win con. Oh, well, do I have a win con? Probably, well, I'd like to say Charizard because it's my latest Pokemon in this team at least that I built. But we are going to be in a really tough battle here. We're against Blurry Face once again. He's bringing a really cool uh, lead card. Looks like he came out of the gold mine. Which he did because he's wearing the jacket, you know. Um, oh, and we're in his le we're in his stadium. Oh, Naganadel's the start. Naganadel is the start. Oh, we're gonna have a tough stretch, aren't we? We're gonna have a really tough stretch. Um, this thing gets surf, I think. I think this thing gets surf. Um, so Psychic Fangs is still gonna be the best attack that we can go to, and that's what we're gonna do. Withdraw Naganadel. Going to Doctor or D who? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, we still get we still get a good attack from here. So all we got to do is go for one more. All we got to do is go for one more, and this um this squeezing is gone. So that's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be an intense battle, and that's because of Naganadel. All right, Psychic Fangs one more time. Next one we're gonna switch out depending on what he goes into, and go into the um Ferrothorn. That's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. I was also, <laughs> I keep forgetting to give Iron Head, Iron Head or, yeah, does it get Iron Head? I think Ferrothorn gets Iron Head, right? Okay, here comes the Drapion this time around. Um, I'm gonna predict the knockoff. So we're gonna go into our Ferrothorn. Woo! We're gonna go Ferrothorn here. That's the play, we're gonna go Ferrothorn. It'd be cool to see a mirror match between Drapion and Drapion, but Ferrothorn it is. So we're gonna go Ferrothorn here. Earthquake. Doesn't do a thing. So that's good news. It's a good thing I didn't switch into my own Drapion. Now, what am I going to do here? Um, We're going to go Stealth Rock right off the bat because he has the Crobat. And if I Stealth Rock the Crobat, I should be able to knock it out with an Excel Rock. So there is that. That's going to do a lot. Not enough to do a whole lot of whole... Not enough to do a whole, whole lot of damage, but it does some damage. So we're going to go Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock it is. Next, I think we go body press i mean body press or spikes i think naganadel still gets damaged by the spikes, so i think that's gonna that's gonna be good in the long run right it has to tentacle goes rapid spin so we still have to conserve our ferrothorn here we're gonna stay in one more turn oh this thing gets fire fang i forgot about the fire fang I, I guess we gotta stay in now all right here comes the body press hopefully it does some damage and i flinch that's my luck. That's my luck. If you can go, you go knock off, you go knock off. I mean, we, at least we got some damage off of this, um, this Drapion. I really wish I was running Earthquake on Drapion instead of the x -Scissor. Why do I have x, -Sciz x -Scissor on it? I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. Um, Lycanroc, I think, is the switch, right? Yeah. I either Lycanroc or Charizard. I think Charizard. As we go Charizard, we can Earthquake. This thing has showed me that it's not Scarf, so I'm not worried about it outspeeding me. So we're gonna go Earthquake here. That's the play. Earthquake. I wonder if Naganadel can one-shot my Slowking. I really hope it doesn't. I really, really hope it doesn't, because that would be that would just be bad. This is this is still a close battle. Withdraws, go Nagan. Oh, Crobat, right? Kraken, which is the. Oh, okay. We can definitely. We can beat this. 
We can definitely beat this. Earthquake, here we go. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna go for one more. One more. Procken is gonna get knocked out here. Does Charizard get U-turn? I wish I was running U-turn right now. It would be really good with my set, to be honest, but U-turn's a pretty underrated move. U-turn probably wouldn't knock out from this range either. I bet you he wasn't expecting the Earthquake on my Charizard. He was probably expecting a special Charizard. Rightfully so, because in this generation, most Charizards are actually, um, they're actually special rather than physical. Oh, bring in Naganadel. This thing is gonna damage, it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt my team. Oh no, I don't know what to do against this thing. Um, we're gonna try to hang in there with the Sloking. Hopefully, we are able to tank some hits. Hopefully, hopefully. Regenerator's gonna be huge in this. Oh no, I just disconnected my headphone. Um, we lost. Naganadel is gonna destroy our team. It's gonna destroy us. No doubt about it. All it got to do is set up with the Max Zeus and it's game. At least that's my thought. That's that's my thought process. Please don't. Please. Max Worm win. I'm somehow okay with that. Come on. Slow King, my boy. That's good news. Maybe we can take one more, right? I think we can take one more. And then, uh, should I go? You know what? Because he's using Naganadel, I'm actually gonna search which one is less bulky. The defensive stats or the, uh, so Naganadel. Um, it's less bulky in both, it's the same. So, it's really up to me. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. I mean, this is Stab. And it's super effective. Side Shock is the better move. Side Shock is the better move. Max Ooze, it's less powerful. So maybe we can take another one. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what we needed. And then hopefully Psyshock will be will whittle it down enough so we can knock it out with either an Exile Rock or an Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna predict another Max Zeus going into Drapion because the regenerator on Slow King is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge in the long run. Okay, here comes Drapion. I don't mind sacking this thing off. My own Drapion. Max Worm win. This is gonna be turn. Oh, that is huge. That is huge. Um, I really don't need the Pikachu, if you really think about it. I really don't need Pikachu. Well, what did it increase? I didn't see. I failed to see. I'm gonna go Pikachu, hit it with an Earthquake, and then come back into Lycanroc, hit it with an Excel Rock. That's that's how we're gonna beat this thing. And all of a sudden, I took down the biggest threat in this team. I, I'm, I know I'm like. And I'm, I'm commentating a couple turns ahead, but I think this is gonna be the way we're gonna take this thing out Earthquake or uh, Earthquake Pikachu quick attack Pikachu. Here we go Imagine it knocks out not quite sludge wave. I Didn't even see what um, what it went up on. I don't mind sacking the Pikachu off as long as we get the uh, Excel rock off and the Lycan rock. What is this? Speed Okay, yeah, ex you know Lycan rock is probably gonna be why win con it's probably gonna be my Wincon. Okay, here comes Lycanroc. We're gonna go ahead and hit the Excel Rock to finish things off here. And then we're 3-3. Three, three. Assuming you don't switch. If you switch, then we're kind of in trouble. Excel Rock, yes. Thank goodness. Naganadel, the biggest threat in this team, gone. Just like that. Um, if he goes into Drapion next, I'm gonna switch into Slowking and try to sack it off a little bit. Venusaur comes out next. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna Slow King because Lycanroc is still very valuable given that he has the Excel Rock for the um, Crobat. Yeah, Slow King is gonna be the Pokemon we're gonna sack off. And I don't think we're gonna drag, we don't have the opportunity to Dragon Dance, do we? I don't think so. He's gonna go Sledge Bomb here. Sleep Powder, missed. That is what I'm talking about. Psychoc is still the better move. I don't think we outspeed. Sleep Powder hits this time. Can I get the same luck that Arcanine had? Do you guys remember that Wi-Fi battle? That battle was... I was a little bit salty with that Venusaur team. 
that was the only, I think that was the only battle I, I, I lost with the Venusaur team, quite frank. Giga Drain, please, please, please. Wake up, Slow King. Wake up. Yep, my boy. You need to wake up here if you want to live. Okay, come on. Yes! Side Shock, knock this boy out, please. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, this is a good battle. This is a really good battle. This is a battle I've been wanting to have with this team. This is the battle I've been wanting to have with this team. My heart's racing. I'm so nervous right now. Please don't DC on me. This is a really good battle. You can still win this. You can still win this, actually. He has the Drapey on left, and he also has the um, the Crobat. So Lycanroc is going to be the win con. Lycanroc is going to be the win con. I think once Loki goes down, I go into Charizard. I outspeed the Drapion, not the Crobat. I mean, if he goes into Crobat, I'm gonna Excel Rock. Lycanroc's the win con. Lycanroc is the win con. Okay, I think I know how I'm gonna play these next turns. Mikoto, the Crobat comes out. Or no, this is the Drapion. My apologies. My apologies. Okay. Scald. The best part is I haven't Dynamaxed. We might finish this off with Dynamax Charizard. Who knows? I cannot believe I outplayed that um, that Inaganadel like that. That was huge. We're gonna get. I, I'm a big sports fan. Okay. I, I probably don't look like I am, but I am. Um, and technically, because of the way my lead card is set up, the battle was canceled. He knows he's lost. We got the time for one more battle. I'm so upset that he quit. He 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 realized that he didn't. He wasn't gonna win. That's probably what happened. We gotta we gotta win. That's a win. We're gonna do another battle. Okay, so we found another opponent. His team is beautiful. Look at the Glacier. I've never been against one. Look at the Galarian Slow King. I haven't seen a Coffer Regus in a really long time. This team, this team is pretty cool. We are against Momo, who's bringing a really, really cool team, as I already mentioned. I still cannot believe that guy rage quit. Well, he didn't. I don't think he necessarily rage quit. He kind of thought things out and said, "You know what? I'm probably gonna lose this." And he really was. Um, I think his best option was going into into uh, Crobat and going from there. But um, that's in the past. So let's focus on this Wi-Fi battle. He ha he doesn't have a whole lot of fast Pokemon. I think Pikachu is gonna be our start. This is probably gonna be a Trick Room team. If assuming he starts the Hatterene, we're gonna go ahead and hit this thing with a or hit this girl with a Iron Tail. So. Let's see how well this battle treats us here. I'm excited. Momo, I love your lead card. That background is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that background. Is that new? I think it is. I'm Loki Jelly, in a good way. Okay, Momo with the queen sends out Altaria. Do I outspeed Altaria? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure I do. All right, Pikachu comes out. I'm basically free to hit whatever I want with a Volt Tackle. Assuming you switch out, right? Yeah. We're just gonna click Volt Tackle. This thing's going down. Hopefully it's not sashed. Oh, this thing's part dragon. I forgot about that, actually. I forgot about that. Toxic hits me. And that doesn't worry me because um, Pikachu is not a Pokemon that stays on the field for a very long time. So, yeah. Um, another Volt Tackle should be able to knock out. I think I got a low roll. I can be mistaken. So we're gonna get one more Volt Tackle, and I think that might be a double knockout after the Toxic or the Poison Damage. So we're gonna hit another Volt Tackle. This, this Altaria is very interesting. I like Shiny Altaria. I have one myself. I think it's Shiny Swablu that I have, actually. Altaria withdraws. Who are you bringing? Kafir Regis, the Galar Champion, is coming out. Very cool. I'm also special. Uh, I'm also a special attacker, so I can probably hit it with a uh, Thunderbolt this next turn. I'm just gonna let Pikachu go down. Static from Mummy. Static from Mummy. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Assuming this thing is completely um, physical um, invested or physically defensive invested, I'm gonna go Thunderbolt here. There's a reason I'm running Hasty Nature Pikachu with uh, four special attack EVs, and it did a little bit more than the. Uh, Oh no. No. This can't be good. Part of me wants to keep Pikachu. Part of me wants to keep Pikachu. Um 
Mostly because I can Volt Tackle something else. So I think I'm gonna go Lycanroc. Lycanroc, Ferrothorn. Lycanroc, Ferrothorn. I mean, Ferrothorn's good because I can set up the, uh... No, um... Altaria probably has Defog is the thing. With the Toxic is showing me, it's probably running Defog. So because of that, I'm gonna go Lycanroc. I think Lycanroc is the play. We have to stall out this Trick Room as much as we can. Oh, we both withdraw. Who are you going to? Glass Rider. A very slow Pokemon. Very heavy on the physical side, though. Look at how beautiful this Pokemon looks. Very slow Pokemon, but again, heavy on the physical side. We're going to threaten this with an Excel Rock, and maybe it'll knock out, actually. That's what we're going to do. Excel Rock. Pop! Okay, Excel Rock, please knock out. No, this thing is bulky. Swords Dance. Okay, another one will knock out. That's perfectly fine. You shouldn't have gone Swords Dance. You should not have gone Swords Dance. Here we go. Excel Rock one more time. It'll knock it out. You'll probably switch because it's probably one of your best Pokemon in your team. Excel Rock. Here we go. Knocked out. That was a high roll. That was a high roll. Based on the, the how fast that bar went, that's a high roll. Okay. How much more turns do you have of Trick Room? Because Hatterene is also probably a Trick Room setter. For all we know, Slowbro is, or Slow King is probably another Trick Room setter. So Hatterene comes out. I'm going to take the opportunity to go into my Slow King. Slow King. Because this, this girl right here is the queen of Trick Room. We're trying to avoid that at all costs. So, yeah. Slow King comes out. Regular Slow King versus Galarian Slow King is a, mirror, is a match I want to see. We resist this heavily, so it ain't going to do anything to us. Well, it does a little bit. More more than what I thought it would be or would do um what do I want to go to or what do I want to, what do I want to use um probably scald because it's stab yeah scald is the best play why do I go ice beam it's scald is the best play it's stab it has a chance to burn also so I do more oh wait you have oh trick room trick room um Hattering gets mystical fire it doesn't get energy ball it has shadow I think it has access to shadow ball so I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go Ferrothorn, try to whittle down this trick room as much as I can. I'm afraid of the Shadow Ball now that I think about it. And we're just going to go into Ferrothorn, set up the, uh, the Stealth Rock. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, that's a good switch for me then. That's a really good switch for me. Dazzling Gleam wouldn't have done anything to Slowbro either, to be honest. At least from my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the Stealth Rock. Altaria might go... No, it's not gonna go down after a Stealth Rock. I think, um... Altaria? You're gonna go Altaria, aren't you? I knew it. I knew it. You're gonna defog next, next this next turn. You are a Flying Dragon, so Body Press isn't gonna do anything to you. What do I wanna do? Because you're gonna defog this next turn. I already know that. I could have double switched there. I could have double switched there. I think you are a flying type. Yeah, body press isn't gonna do anything. Okay, um, how much more turns of Trick Room is there? Is this uh, two more turns? So I'm I'm gonna body press here just because I can. You're gonna you're gonna defog. I already know that. Takes him back to yellow life. That's good. Defog, flamethrower. I was not expecting that one. I really wasn't, and we take it. We take it. Um, does he go flamethrower again? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, because of that, I'm going slow king. I'm going to assume this thing is not invested in speed because of the trick room team. I'm going to go slow king, hit this thing with a nice beam, and go from there. Roost. Oh, okay. So I predicted correctly, in a way. In a way, I predicted correctly. This is the last turn of Trick Room. I'm gonna Ice Beam, and that should knock. That should actually knock this thing out, right? An Ice Beam. I mean, we're fully, we're modest nature. We might outspeed. Ice Beam. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you outspeed. Never mind. I thought I, I outsped. So maybe the Trick Room benefited me there. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, Ice Beam should knock this thing out. At least I hope. Please don't be specially defensive. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't got to worry about Defog anymore. I am probably going to sack off the Ferrothorn at this point. Um, I can't necessarily let Slowking get whittled down so much. 
So there's also that as a con. I'm winning this, aren't I? Ooh -hoo. I'm playing this trick. I've never gone against a trick room team in this generation. At least I think. Kind of hard it comes out. The Porygon. What you? What are you packing for me? Download. I would have gone trace attack rises, which really doesn't um, matter to me. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn here, and the reason being is because I'm pretty sure I can take an attack from this thing, and I can set up at least one layer of spikes, and that's gonna benefit me in the long run. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Thunderbolt. Oh, I heavily. I I resist that times four. I resist that times four. It's a crit too. That did nothing for a crit. Okay, we are going, oh, body press is tempting. I'm gonna spike though. I gotta think of the long game. Ah, oh, he outspeeds, never mind. Never mind. Lycanroc's running choice ban with the close combat. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, or I can Drapion knockoff. We're gonna Drapion knockoff here. I think that's a better play because Eviolite is a really, really annoying item. Really annoying item. Pikachu should be able to knock it out at this next turn. So we're just gonna go ahead. Hit you with a knockoff. If you want to switch, you switch. Boom. You don't switch. That does a pretty good amount of damage, at least I think. Life Orb goes down. You're going to hit me. Another Trick Room. So Pikachu can't do anything to this thing anymore. At least the attack is up and not the um, other attack. I'm going to go Sword Dance here because you have a slow team. Ice Beam. Please take this. Please take this very well. Okay, good. Sword Dance. Here we go. It's time. The time has come. Time has come. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit this thing with the cross poison because of stab. Cross poison because of stab. Sound. I, I wish I could do Joey Wheeler's voice, but no way I'm doing Joey Wheeler's voice. Copper Regus comes out. Not sure what this thing was expecting. He's probably just sacking it off. Yeah, that's probably what he's doing. Cross poison. Here we go. There you go. Boom. Okay. Mummy comes out, so my sniper... Uh, not that I use sniper. I could probably use battle armor. <laughs> battle armor is probably the better move because of the sword stance. He's, he's more of a setter upper. You know what I mean. Oh, slowly but surely whittling, a, whittling this trick room team, uh, team down. Slow King comes out. This Pokemon does scare me a little bit. Not gonna lie, it does scare me a little bit. What do I have for the Slow King, though? I'm gonna have my own slow king. The rest of his team is really slow. I'm gonna go back into my own slow king here. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Psychic poison. That means I can go for a scald for free. Scald. Scald for scald. Ain't doing anything to me. Ain't doing anything to me. Black Sledge Recovery. Oh, look at this. It's the mirror match that we've been wanting. That is cool. That is cool in my opinion. Okay, I'm afraid of the um, Porygon coming out. This, this battle is closer than you think it is. Psyshock? I'm gonna Scald here. No, Psyshock was the better move now that I think about it. Slack off? I wonder why he went Slack off that turn. That's a little bit interesting to me. Please burn it so we can offset the, the Black Celeste recovery. That's some really good damage. I'm not gonna lie. That's some pretty good damage. But I still think that Side Shock is the better move. So we're just going to go ahead and... Um, oh, that means I outspeed now. I'm going to Side Shock. I'm going to Side Shock. Hopefully he goes for another black... Um, well, not black sledge. That's the item. That is... Look at this mirror match. Side Shock. Here we go. This is the matchup you all wanted to see. This is the matchup you pay money to see, too. Side off again. So he's going to stall me out. He's going to stall me out. Um... I obviously don't want to let Slow King down, but I really want to use Pikachu right now. I really want to use Pikachu right now. Um, this is actually starting to accumulate a little bit, so we are going to go back out into Drapion, predicting another Slack off, and we're going to knock this thing off. That's the good play, right? That's the good play. Drapion comes out again, Slack off, just like I predicted. See, now we're playing the mind games a little bit. Because I'm going to hit this thing with a knockoff, and that's going to matter a lot. If you switch out, it matters also. So, knockoff it is. Oh, you're not going to like this, I think. That's a knockout. Yes! Yes! We finally got two wins with this team. 
I know I'm counting my chickens before the ads. I'm like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifteen chickens. Fifteen chickens. Oh my baby Lanta. I can't believe I'm I'm putting in a work against the team. Hatterene the Galler champion comes out. I got the I got the cross poison for you, the younger lady. And that should knock you out. That should knock you out. And this is game. It should be game. I hope it's game. Protect. Smart play. Very smart play. Cross poison. Um I I don't think well, maybe if she goes leftovers, it might matter. I don't think it necessarily matters, though. I'm going to cross poison here. Cross poison. And she's, she's gigantamaxing. That's the right play. That's the right play. I respect that. Heavily, too. The next turn, though, because she turned uh, gigantamax, I'm going to go into my um, my boy Sloking. Look, Gigantamax Hatterene. I think this is the second Gigantamax Hatterene we go up against while using this team. Look at this little Max Guard again. That's another good play. If I would have known, I would have Sword Dance. She's probably trying to get as much health as she can. And um, I, 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 can, I respect that. That's the right play. Boom. This battle is good. This is a good battle. I would pay money to see this battle in action in, in live. Losing some HP. We're gonna go down here with the smite. Boom. Really cool animation. It's an it's a better animated starfall. Okay, Pikachu is gonna come in, put in a little bit of work against this Hatterene, and we're gonna call it game watch. We're gonna go Pikachu here because why not? You know, it would be really cool to see Pikachu knock this Hatterene out. That would be the best thing in the world. Okay, Volt Tackle. Here we go. Volt Tackle. I'm taking her lead card after this. Volt Tackle. Pikachu knocks out the Hatterene. That's good. There you go. There you go. And then we are going to take some recoil and go down, unfortunately. But now the Porygon is here, right? Porygon comes in, and I'm just going to go with Rock, and we're just going to hit the close combat, and that is G. G. What a battle. This was the best this was the best battle out of the bunch that we've had. I think in every battle, in every video I should say, we've had with this team, we've had at least two Wi-Fi battles because of the DCs, short battles, or um both. Download raises the special attack. To bad no um we played the we played the trick room very, very well. We played it very well. Close combat knocks out the Porygon, and that is game that is game i'm taking your lead card that was the, your team was beautiful this is one of the top 10 battles i've ever had and it's just awesome momo that's a cool lead card that's a cool team that was a good battle so um really quick i'm gonna collect your lead card that is going to be it for this wi-fi battle make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video i know you guys like this video this is a really good battle make sure that you guys vote using hashtag mvp 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 Make sure you guys vote using hashtag MVP for your most valuable your vote for most valuable Pokemon It's almost past my bedtime. So I got to go to sleep here soon And also subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon sword and shield Wi-Fi battles It's your boy daddy max signing off Jane and Tomo is gonna be my next opponent. I will see you guys on Monday <laughs>